Hi, so we're doing another teaching from the Rabbam Chumash. And this one is in Parsha B'Shalach, chapter 14. And it's Pasuk 3 which says, And Paro will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. Nevuchim Hemba'aretz, the wilderness has shut them in. So the Jewish people are getting to the Red Sea. And, uh, and Paro will say that these people don't know where they're going and they've become trapped. And this will be the time when Paro comes out and tries to attack them, but God obviously saves them again. So what does Ram, uh, Rambam have to say about this? Um, he says, I'll show you why, I'll show you the reason why all these details are added. <clears throat> Excuse me. For they serve to confirm the account and to con contradict the opinion of the nations both of ancient and modern times, that the Israelites lost their way and did not know where to go. So that is, in fact, not the case. The nations would say, Israel doesn't know where to go, just like Paro said it. That's not the case at all, because it says they were entangled in the land. That's what Paro thinks. But the Arabs until this day, so the Arabs until this day, they call this desert Altich, I think it is, Altib, no, Altich, the desert of going astray. This would be a thousand years ago, Rambam's talking like this. Imagining that the Israelites erred about and did not know the way did not know the way. So even the Arabs call that area, they call it the land of going astray. Therefore the Torah clearly states and emphatically declares that it was by God's command that the journeyings were were irregular, that the Israelites returned to the same places several times, and that the duration of the stay was different. In each station, whilst the stay in one place continued for 18 years, another place lasted a day, another one night, there was no going astray, but the journey was regulated by the rising of the pillar of the cloud, therefore all these details are given. The Torah clearly states that the way was near, known, and in good condition, I mean the way from Horeb, meaning they came intentionally. According to the command of God, you shall serve God upon this mountain to Kadesh Barnea, the beginning of an inhabited land, as the Pasuk says, Behold, we are now in Kadesh, a city in the uttermost of your border. That was a journey of 11 days, for example, 11 days journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir into Kadesh Barnea. In such a journey, it is impossible to err about, to go astray for 40 years, but the scripture, the Torah, tells us what the purpose of the delay is.